So as we mentioned, Boeing's CEO does not appear to be phased by the president's tariffs on imported steel and aluminum. But those tariffs are creating a lot of uncertainty in the aluminum market itself. And that's leading to stockpiling of the metal. Kayla Taji reports tonight from outside New Orleans. Half a million tons of aluminum piled up. That's what you see above the banks of the Mississippi River. Football fields of metal have been building slowly for two years, surging in 2018 as importers rushed to get foreign aluminum on shore before the White House put tariffs in effect. And a 10% tariff on foreign aluminum when the product comes across our borders. That's caused uncertainty about where companies could get aluminum and at what price, compounded by the threat of sanctions on Rusal, a major Russian producer. The U.S. surcharge on aluminum delivery has soared, so companies holding the metal here are poised to profit. Take Castleton Commodities, a trading firm based in Connecticut. It's filled what was a relatively empty field in 2016. That same space outside New Orleans now holds an estimated 450,000 tons. And there's more around the country. Warehouses have sprung up near major ports with 200,000 tons in Baltimore and 30,000 in Charleston. But the biggest is in the Big Easy. It's the river, the river. We have, um, you know, the largest river in North America. We are the petrochemical corridor for, for the nation. Amos Cormier is the local leader of one town housing a stockpile. He hopes the tariffs bring better paying manufacturing jobs once the surge in port activity dies down. In my opinion, those would be better jobs to have than just, you know, stevedores or the offloading of, of of coils of aluminum. We tried to get more detail on the shipments, but the companies importing and storing the metal wouldn't comment, nor would the ports processing the transactions. At Castleton, a sign warned of U.S. customs violations if the bars and beams there were moved. We were turned away after driving in and asking for the manager. Our intel suggests that that stockpile, most of it was sold last week uh, to several traders. It basically is just exchanging hands. Jorge Vasquez runs Harbor Aluminum, which tracks the industry. He says despite the recent fluctuations, the market dynamic won't change anytime soon. They will continue to stockpile simply because the U.S. pays better than anyone else right now uh, on the face of the earth. The barriers to entry put up by the Trump administration bringing big bucks for a few savvy traders. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tauschi, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana.